Hello guys and happy December and welcome to another vlog. I'm doing another weekend in the life. Me and Jonas were gonna visit a Christmas market today at a street called Vandedamsvej, which is located in the Frederiksberg vegetable area and it should be really cute. So we're gonna check that out. And then afterwards, we're going to a public ice skating ring with my dad and my siblings from his side. And yeah, Jonas is just finishing up his breakfast right now and then we'll head out. Is your mic on? Jonas's mic is not on yet. So it's just gonna be me who does the talking. We're on our way now. One of my friends told me that there's a really nice cafe who sells spiced wine there. I think it's a Danish tr tradition with like almond slices and raisins. Or so maybe we'll also find that. Hey Jonas. Hvorfor er du så dårlig humør? Hvorfor? Jonas is mad because he's freezing, so he's just been in a mood this whole morning. <laughs> de er meget cute, de her små nogle. No, Jonas. Every year, Jonas, he's been buying really large Christmas trees for our apartment, which is cute. But we agreed that this year it might be a little over the top, so maybe we'll just settle with a smaller one, right? is getting some food now. Hopefully he'll be in a little bit better mood. And then we're gonna explore the Christmas market. I think they look so cute with these uh, berries. I really want one. And we actually flirt them down. Look at this career. Yeah. The Cuba. My ass is being a bit weird. It's hacking up. Then I heard Mal got up. Good day. It's hacking up. Look. So it's red spiced wine with almond slices and raisins. <laughs> and it's really spiced. Should we get a mistletoe? Oh, you're gonna have to kiss me. Yes. <laughs> but this one or the other one? This one's fine. Then I'm gonna get there. Cute. We just got Back in the microphone is in. Oh. Okay, I hope your mic is on. But we just got back in the <coughs> we just got back in the car. I got to buy a mistletoe and try spiced wine from Falanum. It was quite spiced. Yeah, it was a little bit too spiced for me, but it was okay. We got a mistletoe, and Jonas, you got to try some pastries. Now we're going home. We need to work for a minute, and then. We're going ice skating. We've been thinking about going for ever, almost yeah. since we moved there. And we've uh, talked about it every year. But we've never done it, yeah. which is kind of like shit on us. So we're going to do it today. Yes, today is the day. I can't remember the last time I went ice skating. You Probably did. shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We're home and I just made lunch. I'm going to have nachos with guac, creme fraiche and Salsa. I am posting on another Noe. I post every day and usually I have it planned, but I was a bit unsure how I wanted today's post to look because we want the feet to look kind of curated and what I had planned didn't match up with what the feet is looking like right now. We are ready to go ice skating. Uh, I just did a quick outfit change. I want to be a bit more practical, so I changed into these uh, yoga pants and I'm wearing wool tights underneath. This puffer jacket. And then a little crossover bag and this amazing cashmere beanie I got from I Blame Lulu. It is 
really expensive. This is my fifth season I'm using it. It looks brand new, so a really good purchase. Even though they've raised Rosen, they rose, even though they rose the prices on it. Cute, sporty look to go ice skating with the family. They should be here any minute. We agreed that we would meet up here and then just walk over to the ice skating rink together. That's my little brother, as you can probably see. And that's his girlfriend. Louis! Hi, Louis! Louis. We're about to go on the ice skating ring now, so wish us luck. On. We just finished ice skating. It was super fun. And now we're gonna get some hot chocolate and sit and talk for a while. And then I also wanna get Danish traditional apple skewer. Uh, may I pay? Um, Yum. Oh, the apple skewer. Oh, yeah, tak. Tusen tak. Hello, guys. We got back home from the ice skating ring. It was super fun. And then me and Jonas, we took a small nap on the couch. <sighs> I always get so tired when I take a nap. I'm going to a birthday. One of my best friends, it's her birthday today. So we're getting ready. I need to head out soon. It's gonna be a very quick touch up on my makeup. I have not been ice skating for I think 10 years. I was excited to see if I could still figure out how to do it because over the years I have developed this kind of fear of Hurting myself. It's kind of sad almost because I think there's a lot of things I don't want to do li uh, anymore in my adult years that I used to love as a child. But it went super okay. I was actually really surprised that I could even figure it out. We've been friends for almost 10 years and now. She turns 27, which I think she's not really that happy about. She's been a very young spirit all the time I've known her. We're gonna go to her place. And then she talked about making Indian inspired food. It's gonna curl my lashes. I always forget to turn off the music and then Jonas is like, oh, now you're gonna get copyrighted now. You won't get any views on this video because I forgot to turn off the background music. I also like to just put a tiny bit of mascara on my brows sometimes. I love this blush. It looks so cute and also very natural. Like you really need to use a lot for it to look too much. I'm gonna go in with my Moon Dust from Urban Decay. And I don't really like wearing that much makeup, but this is always so fun and cute. A little bit of glitter. Maybe that's the vibe. Just like a messy ponytail. I just, I'm not, not so good at making them look messy. Like, what is this? Oh no. Okay, well, I really need to get dressed and head out the door so and also charge my phone so i'll update you guys later okay this is what i'm wearing i don't know if this is one of my best outfits i'm wearing this satin top from henny block i got the other day these wool pants i also got the other day from new nose so pretty they have this herringbone um what is that called? Pattern that I really like, cute wool office pants. And then I'm wearing silver ballet flats and a cute little hoop. So this top is so pretty. I don't know what I really think about this outfit, but I really do have to head out now. I should have been there in 10 minutes. Now Jonas woke up from his nap, all confused. Doesn't look like I'm going to a birthday, but we are. So bye. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, now no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go high. Yeah. Good morning. 
Good morning. Me and Jonas were on our way to get some groceries because we don't have anything. Well, we in have our tons fridge. of food. We just don't really have any breakfast food. Yeah. Last oh, night no. didn't turn out too late for me. I was home around one a.m. in the morning and went straight to bed. I don't feel that hungover. I'm not drinking as much as I used to, so that explains why. And now we're on our way to go get some breakfast. We just finished getting our groceries. Jonas, you want to make ebleskewer, which is like this Danish fried round pancake. Back in the day, you used to put apple slices in it. Normally, you get them just like frozen in a bag, pre-made. But for some reason, you feel extra ambitious this morning. Well, the and past few times, every time I've made it, they've just not been good. So now I'll make them the real way. Well, it's a labor-heavy process. It takes a lot of effort and time to make them, but they always turn out super yummy when you make them yourself. So hopefully, they will do that this time as well. favorite pants. I have been wearing them every day since I got them. They are the perfect window pan. Me and Jonas were going out to eat dinner with my mom and stepdad. We usually go to Sunday dinners at the, their place. They wanted to do a little extra and they invited us out to an Italian restaurant in their neighborhood. And I have also visited that restaurant a lot of times before I left home. Um, it's really cozy and we even helped my little brothers like confirmation party. Food is so good. They have this vodka pasta they make in this huge parmesan cheese wheel. So like vodka, truffle and parmesan cheese. But it's so good. It's I'll probably heavy. just get a pizza. Yeah, I think I'll also get a pizza. But yeah. Well, we got, just got home from spending the night at my mom's place. We went to her place and my stepdad's place after we uh, went to the Italian restaurant. It's called Amanda's and we had some banana cake. And then she also gave me my Christmas advent calendar this year. And I didn't think that I would receive one. So I was quite surprised when she pulled out one, but it's very different from last year. This year, it will be like a clue. Um, it will be letters. Wait a minute, I'll find it. It's this. It came with a paper that I was supposed to read first. And then 24 cards with a letter on each card. And then it will form words that will make meaning to a sentence. And she even wrote it in English, so it would be TikTok or so me friendly. She wrote, my dearest Caroline, don't you worry, don't you fear. This is not your presence this year. Let us will lead you to something good. Look for the clues in this box for food. It's like a Christmas cookie box. Pick a new each day and the 24th, send a text my way. Happy hunting, mom. I did peek on the first three since today is the 3rd of December. And the first letter is Y. The second letter is A, and the third letter is K. On the 24th, when I figured it out, I'm gonna send her a text, and then I will get this year's Christmas present, I think. So cute, and I'm really excited about it. She's so creative with it. I love that she made it so me friendly for me, because I told her that people were asking about if I would share the advent calendar unwrap, like last year, because there are so many people who really like that series, even though I found it really hard to make, because I was struggling a lot English back then. I think, looking back, I 
can really feel an improvement in my way of expressing myself and but yeah now let's get ready to go to bed I don't know if all of you who follows me on here are from my TikTok. I did share a few days ago that I have decided to drop out of school. There were two reasons behind that decision. One being that I didn't really like the study program. It was my third priority. I applied for two others that I really wanted to get into, um, but unfortunately didn't. Maybe I'll apply again. In the beginning, I decided to give it a try and see if it would grow on me and that I would enjoy it more, but I really didn't. The people in my class I really liked every one of them so it kind of made the decision harder for me because I was I was thriving but I was just not liking the program and then it was also because I wanted to focus more on my social medias it's just been a decision that's been in the making for a long time I've been thinking about it for a really long time like half a year that I would like to work as a content creator now I finally made the decision to go ahead and do that because I had too much on my plate in the beginning of the study program I thought that I could kind of juggle between having a job, school, and so on. It was possible for me, but I was just neglecting other areas of my life. I wasn't seeing like my close circle of friends as much as I would like to. I wasn't working out. I think I've been working out twice since I started studying and getting a new job. You shouldn't drop out of school so you can go work out. It's not what I'm trying to say, but I was just like neglecting my mental health because I was trying to do everything. To be honest, I'm not in the best mental state right now, but that's okay. I've made a huge decision and there's been a lot of feelings leading up to that and also a lot of judgment. Um, I don't think I've had a lot of understanding for some people that I thought would be understanding. So it was so hard for me to kind of go against what other people thought was or is the right thing for me to do. Also because I have a lot of people pleasing tendencies. Listening to my own voice and gut feeling was super hard. But I'm really excited and happy now that I've done it and I have a good feeling about it. I just need to work a bit on myself right now to get back on track. And then in the new year to just go full on the Somi. Me and Jonas, we're gonna sit down and work on like my goals for 2024 with Somi now that I've just decided that I wanna be a self-employed content creator, which is really cool and very exciting. But I also think that I need to set some goals for myself. So I also feel like I develop as a creator and now I am ready to go to bed. I'm very excited for what the future will hold. <laughs> I think that was it for this vlog. Next weekend, me and Jonas were going to his parents' place in um, Yulan and they live, um, they have a lake outside of their home. It's so beautiful. I've shared their home before on my TikTok. I love being there, spending time there. It's so cozy and very calm. And we're gonna bake Christmas cookies and go for long walks in the woods. I also went to an event the other day where I learned how to crochet Christmas ornaments and Jonas's mom learned me how to crochet. So I'm gonna bring the recipe and then we're gonna crochet Christmas ornaments and I'm planning on also vlogging that weekend so hopefully it'll be a very cute cozy but also a little bit different vlog from what I usually do with Copenhagen life. I hope you enjoyed this vlog make sure to subscribe like and comment if you want to see anything or just leave a few nice words for me.